Oh boy, obligatory short stream. Let's go. So I can keep this streak alive, baby. Uh, Jane Dexter. Crucifix EMF. Basement. Boy. What do we have? A monkey. <clears throat> no kitchen boner. No voodoo. Got a phantom. Good, three star, beautiful. Ghost was not happy that I was here, but you know, doesn't necessarily mean. Interesting. It just threw a cup at me. Interesting. Perseus! No boner, though. Sounds good. Get some sleep, dude. Thank you for stopping by. <clears throat> oh, it's a kirsty, worsty, bursty. A thirsty, kirsty. Sixteen point four, twenty point seven, you're a garage ghost? Yes, interesting. Poltergeist ass activity indeed. <sighs> Bitch be fucking following me and shit. That l kind of looks EMF 5e, but you know, I didn't see it, so. What the fuck? Oh, right. I fucking, yeah. Piece of shit blew out a light, too. Yeah, fuck off. Is it hunting? No. That was, that was the EMF5 for sure. What the fuck am I dealing with? An asshole, that's what. It's either a really, really, really short hunt, or...
Yeah, no, no, it was it was a fake hunt. Had to have been. Unless there's a bug that I'm unaware of. Still haven't found the boner yet, though. I didn't give the basement a thorough look. Maybe we got a basement boner? Camington Steel! Indeed. Have you seen- have you seen Children of the Corn 2020? I forgot. I think I've asked you before. It's a pretty fucking dreadful film. That only really has- okay, good, then you know. Then you know. It's a fucking miserable goddamn movie. Except for one scene, which is brilliant. I have not seen the 2000, the mid 2000s Children of the Corn movie, which I also hear is terrible. Uh, to be honest, I'm not terribly surprised either. It's, it's fucking Children of the Corn. I, I, I don't think they'll ever make a good adaptation of Children of the Corn. Ever. Oh, there you are. The best we're gonna get is that that first one, and it's mostly lame and boring. <laughs> well, good to know. Maybe I'll add it to the uh, to the list of uh, stuff for the wheel, so it can be extra upset. I'm gonna try to finalize the wheel tomorrow or Monday. But I'm debating about not saying what's going to be on the wheel until we actually get in there. <laughs> People will be surprised as to what dog shit we're watching. Well, you know, the beauty, the beauty about the wheel, uh, Cam, is uh, there's going to be, a, you know, a few things on it. And if we find something to be terrible and boring, we're just going to turn it off and spin again. We've only had one movie that we gave up midway through, and that was Slender. Which is fucking abysmal. And then we swapped over to fucking... <laughs> we fucking swapped over to fucking... Suburban... Oh, I saw that. Uh, suburban Sasquatch afterwards. It was hilarious. Yeah, I get it. You're big mode. Get your cock out of here. And your hammer. Try to think it canceled, bro. There's an idea. I could also acquire... Texas Chainsaw 3D and add that as a potential I don't know, we'll figure it out I'll figure it out there's gonna be some dog shit it's gonna be great you're gonna be so upset everybody's gonna be so upset Gina reminded me of Death Spa, which in turn reminded me of Killer Workout. Yeah, okay, I get it. You're big mode. 2.8. Eh? I know you're not hunting. Get out of here. I, w I would rather it be dog shit. I, 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 f I find it, uh, movies that are 
terrible to ultimately be a better experience than mediocre. The worst, the absolute worst it could be is just boring, right? That is 100% the worst it could possibly be. Okay, it will not be ghostwriting. Oh, they're, they're already going to massacre it. Can. Are you kidding me? They've massacred it up the ass already. They hired the fucking guy who wrote the Annabelle trilogy to direct it and write it. It's going to be dog shit. At the very least, right, if, say, they had James Wan direct it, the writing could be really bad and there still could be a bunch of stupid jump scares, but at least it would be very well directed. Although I did get mildly excited last night because I realized that uh, Guillermo del Toro, I guess, is finally doing his adaptation of Frankenstein. Yeah, and it's got Ralph Innocent in it. I forgot as who. Who's playing the creature and who's playing Victor Frankenstein? I remember that was interesting as well. Uh, Jacob Ellerty is Frankenstein's monster. Oh, Oscar Isaac is Victor Frankenstein. Also has Mia Goth, Christoph Waltz. Uh, I don't know him. Lars Mickelson. Is he related to... Oh, he's Mads Mickelson's brother. I didn't know he was a thing. Uh, oh, Dave Bradley. I don't know Christian Convoy. Charles Dance and Ralph Ennison, of course I know. So the cast looks pretty stacked. Probably. Which is upsetting. Bardem would have been a great Frankenstein's monster. Fuck you. Wraith would be that, and uh, so far it hasn't stepped in any goddamn salt, so... It might be a Wraith. Bro! Didn't I pop pills? Yeah, no, uh, Bardem is fucking fantastic. I did not pop pills. At least we got the objective, right? Alright, I'm gonna pop one more. Now, I'm a sucker for Kenneth Branagh's Frankenstein, but also I'll admit that the movie is a little bombastic and dumb. So I do hope that Del Toro's Frankenstein is really good. I still really want uh, Del Toro's At the Mountains of Madness, though. Oh, yeah, no, he was, he was amazing in No Country. And yeah, like, uh, he was the first Daniel Craig Bond villain to actually be, like, really, really good. No offense to Mads Mikkelsen, he is a terrific actor, I just thought he was kind of underused in Casino Royale. Uh, What's-his-face from Quantum was, you know, take him or leave him. Christoph Waltz I also felt was kind of underused as well in uh, Spectre. Uh, and I have not seen No Time to Die, so I don't have a context for that. Bram Stoker's Dracula is great. Injured in a yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's fucking wraith.
Gary Oldman is phenomenal in that. Sadly, the weak link is Keanu Reeves and Winona Ryder, but they get a bit of a pass because of their age. And I like uh, Keanu. Yeah, it was like perfect casting, but just... It, it was underused. It wasn't great. It's pretty pretty upsetting. Spectre was a colossal disappointment for me. I've heard mixed things about No Time to Die. I'll watch it at some point. Just a no rush. But I'm still waiting for somebody to fucking do, uh, at the Mountains of Madness, goddammit. I don't know if I would call it bottom three for me. I don't even know where I'd rank it, because it's been so long since I've watched most of them. Uh, I know World is Not Enough and Die Another Day are definitely down there. Uh, I think ultimately I probably dislike Quantum of Solace more than, than Spectre. Uh, View to a Kill I also remember being rough. Seru. Uh, Diamonds Are Forever, I was, it's like the weakest Connery one. But it's been so fucking long, dude, since I've seen most of this, most of these. I used to love Tomorrow Never Dies and dislike Goldeneye when I was a kid. But now it's the opposite, where I love Goldeneye and I dislike Tomorrow Never Dies. Uh, I don't remember Living Daylights all that much. I love License to Kill. I love Honor Majesty's Secret Service. Oh, good, the bone. I don't remember if I like any Roger Moore Bond movie. I know he's my least favorite Bond. What about Seru 07 movies? It's a fucking another Garage Ghost, God damn it. I don't want to drop the camera in case the stupid ghost appears. The El Del Toro's Frankenstein I'll, 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 I'll be very excited about. That's a Yure. This has got to be a fucking Yure, right? I just heard the fucking door slam shut. Hmm. And of course, uh, I think Nosferatu is the only movie that I'm looking forward to for the rest of the year. I think. I don't remember what else is coming out. No UV yet. Fuck you. I guess it hunts and kills me. Uh, 
I'm 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 mildly curious about Gladiator 2. I will watch it at some point. I wouldn't say I'm looking forward to it. Because Ridley Scott's a fucking senile old man at this point, who 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 ruins almost everything that he touches, uh, which is a shame because I, I I like a lot of his earlier filmography. Um. Gladiator 2 is just one of those movies that, that they've been talking about forever, and the entire time I'm like, I don't want a Gladiator 2. I really don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm mildly curious about Megalopolis again. I, I, I'm not, like, super into the idea of watching it, but you know, it could be it could be worth a lark for the insanity. Now, if um David Lynch gets a film does a film. I'm all over that shit. I don't give a fuck what it is. Could be David Lynch's Twilight, and I'm fucking there, dude. Negative freezing temps. Yeah, I don't know what else is coming out for the rest of the year. I don't remember. <gasps> that was an Orbulon. Dots would be your A. Spirit Box is on Rio. Ghost Riding is Rev. Ultra, no EMF. I want to say I saw the tail end of Dots at one point, but... If it is a URA, then I was right, because of the door slam. What a piece of shit. I'm going to side inject the motion sensor, repel, photo of the ghost. Oh, come on. Fucking up here, you piece of shit. Just walk through the goddamn dots. Oh, you piece of shit! Stop fucking with the car! My guy? Then again, I also don't know what's coming out next year that I would be interested in either. Oh, I don't I don't know when it's coming out, but that um Badlands movie. The new Predator movie. I'm mildly excited about. I thought Prey was neat. That was fucking dots. I fucking saw you out of the corner of my eye, you spooky bitch. Fuck God damn it! I scrolled off the camera. Alright, come on now. Probably. Oh yeah, Spider-Verse could be cool. I still haven't seen the sequel because I knew it was uh like kind of a part two. And I was like, I'm not I'm not doing this. I'll wait for both to be out and then I'll watch it maybe if I'm not burned out still on Marvel. Oh yeah, it's gonna be great. Just tell them that part two is already out and it's called The Wizard of Oz. No, no, don't even do that. Tell them part two is already out and it's returned to Oz. Throw them in for a loop. 
Or if you want to get really spicy, uh, tell them to go see the Wiz instead. You piece of shit. God damn it! Fuck off. Oh yeah, I like I like James Gunn a lot. I'm, I'm sure his Superman film would be pretty good. I can't say I'm like excited for it because I'm like just hilariously burnt out on superhero stuff. And like 99.99% of comic book related stuff. Yeah, I know his Suicide Squad movie was great. Daru, you should watch James Gunn's Suicide Squad. It's really good. This thing is just gonna be fucking draining my goddamn fucking sanity this entire fucking time. And it's gonna try to hunt me. And I don't have any pre-planned hiding spots. Okay, you know what, you piece of shit, because I don't have time, because this is a short stream that I'm going to be ending in the next 40 minutes. I'm going to give you 60 seconds to show your fat fucking ass. And if you don't do it, I'm getting out of here. Oh, and the Batman uh, was, was, was alright, Saru. A lot of people love it. I'm a little more muted on it, but, you know, it was pretty good. Uh, I can't say I'm, I'll, I'll watch the sequel, because I'm still just burned out on comic book shit, but. Oh, and I'm not looking, I am not excited for Joker 2. Yeah, that's it, you fat fuck. Because I was like, damn, this Joker movie is pretty cool, and I respect that the filmmakers said they have no intention in making a sequel. And then... Then they made a sequel, and I'm like, you fuckers! Stop fucking making sequels to everything, goddammit! Stop it! Just cut it out! Cut it the fuck out! Not everything needs a goddamn sequel. But we need to make a sequel so we can capitalize it. <laughs> I don't even care if it made a billion dollars. I would have so much goddamn respect for that movie if they just if the filmmakers refused. If Todd Phillips and Joaquin Phoenix were just like, you know what? No, we said we aren't going to make a sequel. We're going to stick to our fucking guns. Uh, they didn't because they're hacks. My days of trying to get a ghost photo are done, at least for this session. Probably. I still would, I, I still am annoyed by it. And I hate it. I have such contempt for modern Hollywood. Oh, well, thanks for telling me where you're at, you spooky bitch.
I hated that last Matrix movie. I hated it so goddamn much. Oh, that's an, that's an orbital one. <gasps> Could be a mimic, though. I mean, on one hand, I can respect the, 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 the intent of wanting to make sure that there will never be a sequel, but on the other hand, I still had to suffer through a piece of shit movie. I mean, I guess I didn't have to sit, sit through it, but still. I think going out of your way to make an intentionally bad movie, regardless of the, uh... The reason. Unless it's like, you know, as a parody, comedy, tribute sort of shit, like Black Dynamite or whatever. Uh, it just kind of makes you an asshole. It's kind of like there is the, uh, when, when Hideo Kojima got sacked from... Konami... Right, there was this, this insane amounts of copium going around with Metal Gear Solid 5. Because the game is clearly fucking unfinished, right? Like, a huge chunk of the game is just not in it. Uh, and you had these diehard fanboys who somehow convinced themselves that Hideo Kojima intentionally wanted to release an unfinished game. So, the player could experience a real phantom pain. And my response to that is that, if that is true, that's not something to be celebrated. That's something to condemn and to call Kojima an asshole for. Because when I pe spend 60 fucking dollars to make a goddamn video game, I expect it to be fucking finished. Uh, EMF is Raiju, Ultraviolet is Banshee, Ghost Riding is They, Freezing Temps is Yurei, Spirit Box is Yokai. We have the whole fucking shebang! But then again, Kojima stands are, are fucking insane. And a lot of them are, are insane conspiracy theorists. Who who will... It's one thing to have, like, a fan theory about something, to speculate before something comes out. It's another thing to be so completely fucking unhinged with your fucking theory, right? And a lot of them are really fucking unhinged. Like, I, I do not believe for a second that Kojima wanted to release an unfinished game. That's just fucking stupid. And copium. And it's like, hey, if you like MGS5 in its unfinished state, cool, I'm happy for you. I'm glad that you got a little more out of the game than I did. But, uh, you know... Stop making excuses for the fact that it's fucking unfinished. Oh yeah, no, it's it's completely unfinished. The, the game just stops. Nothing is properly resolved. It sets up... Like, you got Act 1, which is insanely fucking long. And then you get to Act 2 right? And Act 2 is like 50% new missions and 50% missions where you're replaying older missions, but now there's a difficulty modifier stapled to it in order to pad out the fucking game. Uh, and it's really dumb. And then after you complete an arbitrary number of missions, um, the game just gives you the final mission. And the final mission is just literally the first mission over again with some slight deviations at the end, and the ending cutscene is stapled to it. 
Uh, and on disc, there is evidence of an Act 3. Uh, and nobody knew how to unlock it. And in its current state, Act 3 is only unlocked when the entirety of the gaming population who plays MGS5 uh, disarms every single nuclear warhead within the game. Uh, and even then, it doesn't add any new content. It's just like a metaphorical, like, Act 3 of, like, World Peace or whatever. A lot of people really, really, really enjoy it because the gameplay is very, very fun. But from a narrative standpoint, it is colossally disappointing and unfinished. Although even, even certain elements of the game design, in my personal opinion, are pretty dog shit. Uh, like, it has... It has a bunch of, like, microtransaction, free-to-play type game design elements to it, where it's like, to develop a weapon, or to, de to develop tech, it actually takes X amount of real-world hours to do so. But, there's no actual Time Saver DLC, so it doesn't make any goddamn sense. It's, it's, it's really bizarre. It's really bizarre. I don't know why they would do it. Like, it would be super shitty if they had, you know, Time Saver Microtransaction DLC on it. And it's Konami, so I, I fully would have expected it. But they didn't. They instead had this fucking, like, insurance DLC. Which is equally stupid. It's a very baffling, baffling... There's a lot of baffling game design in it. Like, core mechanics are really, really, really fun. Where are you? Damn it. Like, the, the core moment-to-moment, -moment, like, sneaking and, and combat is very fun. It's just a lot of the shit around it is really frustrating and tedious. Why the fuck has this thing not done anything? <clears throat> EMF, ultraviolet, ghost. Oh, you know, I haven't checked um, freezing temps actually in a bit. It's, it's possible freezing. Yeah, it's freezing. It's another, uh, Yuri. But like I said, Kojima, f Kojima stands the high hardcore diehard, super diehard fans of his are, um, a little unhinged with fan theories and stuff like that and conspiracy theories. <laughs> I got time for possibly two or three more. Maybe one if it takes forever. All right, we're here. Take a look at the equipment and prepare accordingly before starting the investigation. There have been new uh, objects nearby. This must be the reason of the ghost response. Also, MG is five as long as dicks, Cam. And a lot of it's padding. What am I doing? I want you. Get out of here. <gasps> the boner! I hate this stupid 
restriction of the camera now that they added. It's really dumb and it makes no fucking sense. Or you can't swap off the camera after you take a photo. Because they don't want you to, like, circumvent the cooldown period. It's like, well, then just get rid of the fucking cooldown period, my guys. Come on now. I take a f fucking picture and I'm gonna be fucking hunted. Can I still eat the camp? It's another garage ghost. Stinky ass goddamn hammers on the floor. Yeah, hi. Get your birthday present, Saru! Get your birthday present. Or get really, really stinky and shower with quiet. Good old DD. DD is best boy. Although I always used quiet primarily because mechanically she's broken. Completely fucking broken. She makes that game so fucking easy. It's hilarious. Drop the camera at some point. God damn it! I don't know where I dropped it though. There you are. Oh, hi. Hello, sir. Another spicy little dots ghost. Cursed, it's a spicy dots ghost. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I got a ghost ass! Yeah, fuck you, you piece of shit. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing! I have a photo of your ghost ass, you fuck! Oh, what do you want? Go away. I wish my house was haunted. My hoose. My hoose was haunted. I can't be a gin. The fuck is butt fucking my sanity? My hoose is haunted. The haunted hoose. Yeah, okay, hi. Hello. You are a fucking slutty ass goddamn ghost. Can you get out of here? You're pissing me off. Also, make make it freezing. Yeah, okay, goodbye. I'm getting out of there, son. Oh my god! This needy little bitch ghost. Alright, I. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm a ghost. How's it going? I don't recall if I've ever run into that Saru. 
But that sounds like something they would do. Cause fuck you. How dare you? How dare you run uh, store up your money? Yeah, it checks out. Cow. Big mode. No. You know, get your cock away from me. Big mode. No. Bro, did you throw your cock back at? He threw his cock. At me. And fucking Simon says shit. Sign my book, you spectrum bitch. Um, we have dots uh, or orbs again. Is that another goddamn Yuri? Fucking Yuri on ice, my nuts, dudes. It's gonna be another goddamn Yuri. I don't know, are we? I don't know what it's gonna be for quote 777. Oh, wait, freezing. It's another goddamn Yuri. I don't have a gimmick planned. I didn't think I'd live this long. Yeah, I ain't doing that shit. Okay. Well, all right, there we go. That works. All right, we're here. All right, probably final one, and then I raid out. Uh, Joseph Gayton. Yeah, I'm just gonna preemptively select Yuri. It's actually one of the things, Saru. Because <clears throat> I've now done Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, and 3 on the channel. And whenever they do that next Legacy Collection, or beforehand if I decide to emulate it, I'm looking forward to going through MGS4. What I can say, without a doubt, is I'm not looking forward to going through Peace Walker or 5. I am looking forward to, um, whatchamacallit, Ghost Babbles. Ground Zeroes I consider just part of MGS5 in general. They are, and it's just fucking forced walk bullshit. It's an, it's another. Another goddamn garage ghost. Fuck you. Find a new room. You unoriginal hack. I'm so upset. Yeah, there's so much waiting. It's there's so much of it. It's really dumb. But Ghost Babble, I'd look forward to going through. Same with Acid. I make fun of card games all the time. But I remember liking Acid. The little I played of it. Like, I went into it going, oh, everybody hates this because it's like a card game. And I picked it up and played it. And it's like, wait a minute, this plays like, like Final Fantasy Tactics. 
What are you talking about? Why, why is everybody hating this game? I like it. Granted, that was like, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago, so maybe I'd hate it now, but I don't fucking know. I ain't got no idea. Uh, I would look forward if they include it, which they fucking should. Let's go through Portable Ops to see how that holds up. I always thought that Portable Ops is better than Peace Walker. I think a lot of people like Peace Walker more just because it's written by Kojima. So they'll hand wave away the stupidness and retcon shit. Because it's directly from Kojima. But, at least in my humble opinion... The, the stupid shit in Peace Walker is far more egregious than the stupid shit in Portable Ops. Peace Walker does have goofy Fulton stuff, but its bosses suck. Its villains suck. Its mission structure sucks. Controls suck. They're a fucking slog, Saru. <laughs> I have finished them, and they're a fucking slog. I got a platinum in MGS5. At least I'm pretty sure I got a platinum. I got close to it, but I do have S rings in every mission. And they're a fucking slog. And, uh. It's, I want to say, the first instance where I really, really, truly noticed bad, like, lazy accessibility, as like, I like to call it. Don't breathe into my asshole. Um, I think I've mentioned this before. And I probably have. But, like... I, I'm an advocate for including accessibility options or... or Gameplay features that will make the game easier for less skilled players. That's fine. I have no problem with that. So long as I don't, I'm not forced to use them and I'm not like constantly nagged about them. I'm okay. Right? That's fine. That's fine. Uh, and in MGS5, it's gameplay accessibility feature thingy. It's called the chicken hat. Uh, which you can wear and uh, when guards see you... They laugh at you instead of, like, immediately getting alerted. So it gives you, like, a little bit of extra time to uh, recover or knock them out or whatever. It's, it's, it's a silly little thing, and it's fine, whatever. The other major drawback with it, though, is you cannot get an S rank if you use the chicken hat. So when I'm going through those super hard missions, you know, the ones... The ones, the, the, those, those really hard modifier ones that are a giant pain in the ass and I'm more likely to die on them multiple times. Uh, and I'm going for a fucking S rank. I don't want to be asked 78,000 fucking times if I want to equip the goddamn chicken hat. That's shitty fucking accessibility. That is bad. Bad game design. Rotten game design. How dare you? Stop it. Oh wait, no, it's not a. You're a you you tricked me, didn't you? Wait, what? Hmm. Oh, are you a utility room ghost? Okay, it 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 did trick me mildly. But yeah, it's really dumb. I hate it. Stop asking me. Stop fucking asking me if I want to goddamn have the fucking chicken hat. I don't want it. I, I can't equip it because I'm fucking goddamn trying to get a fucking S rank. So cut it out. Stop it. Bad game designers. And unfortunately, game designers do that shit all the goddamn time. They lazily implement accessibility features and it's really aggravating. They don't think <clears throat> how annoying it would be. They don't think of the... the uh, as it's, some might call them edge cases, but I'd say that they're 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 a little more frequent than than a potential edge case. 
edge cases are like you know kind of like outliers or whatever where this will occur but it's like maybe unlikely <coughs> like you you literally are trying to incentivize people to s-rank your fucking goddamn game and there's rewards for doing so and trophies for doing so stop fucking goddamn asking me you asshole Welcome to my TED Talk. Yeah, that was the, the first time I can really, really, really truly... Thank you for turning off the light, Ghost. Truly recall... ...getting angry at a game for its accessibility feature. Then some of the mar more recent Mario games, where they're like, LOL, hey, do you want to use Super Guide? No. Stop asking me. You die again. Hey, do you, you, you want to use Super Guide? No, fucking stop asking me. Give me an option where I can turn it off and never be asked about using it ever again. And I'm sure some asshole out there is probably going to be like, Yeah, well, what if, what if somebody plays the game and they turn it off getting asked about Super Guide and then they, wanna, they decide that they want to use it and they forgot how to turn it back on? That's not my fucking problem. That's a 0.01%. Fuck that person. Stop catering to the 0.01%, goddammit. They're assholes. <laughs> Do you want the Wraith or the Twins? Well, we can immediately rule it out. It's, it's, it's the twins. It's really aggravating. I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate it, Saru. Fuck you. Fuck you. Hey, do you want to, uh, you want to use the super guide? You want to use the chicken hat? For sure? You could use it. Would you like a bigger penis? If so, where would you like it? Alright, let's get a fucking dusty old f photo of a ghost, and then we'll, uh, get sexy. And right out. Here every rose has its thorns. Deep a double railroad in horns. Every butt eats a butt. Oh. Hey, you're not allowed to do that. Get away from me. You got summoned too early. I don't think I got the photo. Yeah, I didn't. I think it was too loose sanity when I lit the uh, summoning circle. Yeah. There's a normal hunt knife. It's fine. Whatever! Deep double railroad in charms. Alright. Let's end the stram.
All right, I'm gonna send y'all on over to Ashiwa. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with more spookies, not Faz. Uh, I don't know with what yet. Probably ill bleeding, because it's supposed to be ill bleed. Or something else. I don't know. Uh, y'all take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Be excellent to each other, and I'll catch you all on the next stream. Ta-ta. Farewell. Goodbye. Thank you.